Uh, welcome to another vlog here. My name is Glenn Kangas, a cold-hearted appraiser, and today I want to talk about estate planning. I just heard a stat in a recent meeting the other day that only 34% of people have estate plans. 34%, and that seems really low. And why is that? Well, I'm sure a few of the reasons are some people just don't think they need one. Uh, some people think they're just for rich people and things like that. But one of the most common that I seem to hear when I talk to people is the cost. Oh, I don't want to spend that much money. It costs too much money. And I think that is a hurdle because people are looking at it with the wrong perspective. It's not a cost, it's an investment. So let's do some math, because I'm a geek and I like doing math. In California, if you have assets uh, more than $185,000 in value and you die without a will or a trust, it goes into probate. Probate has automatic fees that the estate has to pay. As you can see from the graphic that uh, we've got up here by estate planning attorney Raj Ajala, a friend of mine, at $800,000 in assets, fees are just under $40,000 for probate. And once you get to $1.2 million, the fees are about $50,000, and $2 million in assets are around $65,000. So given that the median single family home price in LA County is around a million dollars at the moment, and in Orange County it's just under 1.4 million, the typical estate will have at least 50,000 in estate uh, probate fees. So a typical standard estate plan uh, for assets in that price range can run anywhere from 3,000 to 5,000 uh, dollars typically. And so looking at it from an investment perspective, it means that the ROI, return on investment, is from 10 times to 17 times that three to $5,000 investment. It's saving you forty to $65,000 for that small investment. That's a great ROI. And this is also before you even get into other things that the estate planning will, attorney will do to generate additional tax savings uh, in your estate plan. And you know what else your estate planning gives you? Peace of mind and a plan for un things that happen unexpectedly. They do power of attorney, medical decisions, what ifs. What if somebody gets sick and needs long-term care? Things like that. They also, in the estate plan, fund uh, plans to care for loved ones when they get ill or when there's unexpected death or medical issue. And all of that is decided ahead of time and not under duress. So you're not doing it when it happens, it's already planned. And that is priceless. And you know what else has great uh, ROI? A step up appraisal, date of death appraisal for tax purposes. It's a similar kind of concept. The simplification of this is in Southern California, if your fee say is $700 to do the appraisal, um, you will usually save anywhere from tens of thousands to hundreds of thousands of dollars in capital gains taxes. And here's a simplified example. Mom and dad bought their home for $50,000 in 1975. And when they pass and the property is worth $1.2 million now, instead of paying the 20% long-term gain on the home sale uh, after the exemption of, say, $500,000, the fee is going to give you 186 uh, times ROI because your capital gains tax in that situation would be about one hundred and thirty thousand dollars. So again, you're you're investing seven hundred because the IRS requires that to help you save one hundred and thirty thousand. And even if you include uh, some additional CPA or state planning fees as part of that uh, for the seven hundred six return, you still have about a forty to sixty x ROI on that investment. So, do you need an estate plan? Probably, but of course you don't want to spend the money. It's important to change your perspective. Don't just think of the cost. Think of it as an investment in the, in the incredibly high ROI and peace of mind. It is truly an incredible investment.